Hi, my name is Lauren. My name is Jared. I'm Nick Herskadal. I'm an SE with Bueller Engineering. One of the first things that you will probably do on your path to being a structural engineer is go to an accredited engineering college. A lot of them are civil engineering undergrads, and so people will take like kind of a broader range of classes in their undergrad and then go and get a master's in structural engineering. Or there are a few like specific programs that are undergrad that are geared more towards structural engineering if you know that that's what you want to end up doing. So once you complete your four-year undergrad, um, you can take your FE is what they call it. It's the first test out of many tests that you are going to take if you want to be a structural engineer. It's a test on all of the fundamentals of engineering and not necessarily just structural engineering. Once you pass that, you're considered an EIT, an engineer in training. Becoming a professional engineer is the next step you take, which entails an eight-hour exam and in California, an additional surveying and seismic exam. For the eight hour, you take a general four hour exam in the morning and an engineering specific four hour exam in the afternoon. Once you pass those three exams, you're a California professional engineer and you qualify for an official PE stamp that allows you to sign off on certain types of projects. Uh, there's one more test and this test allows you to design anything that you could ever want to design. And that test is the SE, the structural engineering exam. That test is pretty intense. It's two day long test, uh, eight hours each day, uh, and it's it's the most rigorous test that you will ever take. Uh, but once you're done with this test, you're done and you can call yourself an SE and you never have to take another test ever. And it feels great. And so SE is the, the highest level of certification you can get. And uh, yeah, it allows you to design a hospital or high rise, bridges, uh, anything that you may want. The best advice I have for those pursuing an engineering degree is to get involved in engineering related activities and organizations. When I was in school, I was fortunate to be president of the American Society of Civil Engineers and the Society of Women Engineers. Through these organizations, I had the opportunity to attend conferences and develop relationships that were beneficial over time. The engineering world is very small and finding these relationships is important. So day-to-day -day engineering uh, changes a lot depending on what you're working on and where in the construction process your project is. Um, so for example, towards the beginning of design for a new building, you're probably doing a lot of calculations. And then as you progress up the calculations and kind of know exactly what things are supposed to look like, because you've calculated what they're supposed to look like, um, you kind of move into the drawings then. And so, you might spend the day drafting, and then if you have a building that's being built in construction, then you might be out at the site all day uh, answering questions from the contractor or talking to the inspector who's making sure the building is getting built um, as it was designed. Okay, so as a structural engineer, you get to use a lot of different technologies um, through your days, and that technology has really changed a lot even from the time when I started in 2012. Uh, it's changed a lot since then. So now we're drawing project so we, we have to do calculations and we provide drawings on how to build the building uh, and to do those drawings uh, it used to be just drawing lines on paper uh, then it moved to drawing lines on a computer program and now it, the technology is called BIM or building information model which is a 3d model of a building so you really put in the columns the beams the floors, uh, the windows, the architects will do a, a model as well. They'll put in the doors and the windows, uh, the roofing, everything gets put into this one model, uh, including mechanical systems and lights, and everything you can possibly see in the building. All of that comes together into one group that we can all look at together and, and visualize what this thing is going to look like. It also helps us find any problems that you may see during construction. There are a ton of people in the industry um, and at our company as well that are you know, really outgoing and really love the connection with, with people and with clients and so uh, that's a big part of what we do is uh, people don't realize how, how much of a business structural engineering is as well because you can't build projects if you don't have projects to work on and so a, lot, a big part of that is getting work and uh, building relationships with 
architects and with contractors. That's a big side of things is the client relationships and uh, building connections. And then also, you know, we do fun things as well. We have a softball team that, um, that a lot of people play on in the office. We go up and we do a ski trip and things like that. And so we definitely get out and spend time together and uh, build relationships in the company as well. Okay, my favorite project that I ever got to work on was a tech headquarters in Santa Clara, California, Silicon Valley. Uh, it was a very weird shaped building. It was a big triangle uh, with three stories of office space on top of a very large parking garage. What was really fun about it was that it was just all different shapes. There was triangles kind of throughout every aspect of the building from the roof to the floors to the, even some of the desks were made into little mini triangles. And it really incorporated everything that I could uh, possibly try to design. From all of us at Bueller, we look forward to becoming a part of the engineering community.